If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. Perhaps the most obvious attempt at solving this limit would be to take 2 and plug it in for x, since that is a value that x is approaching. Let's try that. So after plugging in 2, we could simplify the numerator. We're going to have the square root of 4, which of course is 2, and then 2 minus 2 gives us 0. And then we have the square root of 1, which is 1, minus 1, which is also 0. So we're left with 0 divided by 0, which is known as an indeterminate form. And it turns out that when we have an indeterminate form, we're going to be able to use what is known as L'Hopital's rule, which basically tells us to back up, go to the original limit, and take the derivative of the numerator as well as the derivative of the denominator. Now when we do this, it's going to be helpful to first write the radicals as exponents. So instead of the square root of 6 minus x, let's write it as 6 minus x to the 1 half. Same thing with the 3 minus x. And now we're going to go ahead again and take the derivative of the numerator. Now to do that, we're going to have to use a chain rule. So we're going to pull the power down in front to give us 1 half. We'll multiply by the inside of the parentheses. We'll subtract 1 from the exponent which gives us negative one-half, and then we'll multiply by the derivative of what is inside the parentheses, which hopefully we can see is negative one. And then we have the term minus two. That's a constant, so the derivative of that constant will be zero. In the denominator, we're going to do the same chain rule. We'll pull the power down in front. We'll recopy the inside of the parentheses, subtract one from the power, multiply by the derivative of the inside, which again is negative one, and that completes the chain rule. The derivative of minus 1 will also be 0 since it's a constant. We can't forget to write the limit in front, so let's go ahead and do that. Also, since we just applied L'Hopital's rule, you will sometimes see textbooks write LH above the equal sign since we are technically applying that rule. Now, if we look at this expression, we can see the 1 halves will cancel, as will the negative 1s, and so we can simplify it. And then, since both exponents are negative, what we can do is change them to positive exponents by moving them to the opposite sides of the fraction. So we're going to carry the 3 minus x up to the numerator, carry the 6 minus x down to the denominator, and then we're going to change the signs of their exponents. Now that we've simplified as much as possible, we want to go ahead and try plugging 2 back in for x. In the numerator, we have 3 minus 2, which is 1, and then that's raised to the power of 1 half. 1 to the 1 half, 1 to anything, in fact, is going to be 1. And then 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 to the power of 1 half is the same thing as the square root of 4, which of course is 2. And this gives us the correct answer to this limit. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. You can send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.